Hey there, Ricardo Bueno here, Rebeezy.com, and in today's short screencast, I wanted to talk a little bit about sending personalized invitations um, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn happens to be one of my favorite social networks, and well, what I wanted to do with, uh, with you here in this video is share my process for adding new connections and then maintaining those relationships with those connections. Uh, in a post yesterday, I talked about how if you believe that your business is built on building relationships, well, then you need to make building relationships your business. So this is the area where when you log into your LinkedIn account, you go to the left-hand side and you click on the green button that says Add Connections, and it'll bring up this menu here. You, of course, enter the email addresses to the people that you want to invite. And then most people, with, what they tend to do is they tend to send a static invitation. Your subject line usually reads something like Invitation to Connect on LinkedIn. I usually leave that the way it is, but it's this custom field that I want to address here for a second. Um, I usually edit the salutation to say hi and the person's first name. And then I go ahead and delete this entire canned message there. See, because the thing is, and as I'll mention in the post that you're reading, I tend to screen my LinkedIn invitation requests. It's nothing personal, it's just that if we haven't met, I'd like somewhat of an introduction as to who you are and why we should connect as opposed to just a static invitation. You know, I'd like for you to reach out for a handshake and introduce yourself as opposed to just sending me a blanket request. That being said, I tend to delete that canned invitation and do something different. Most of the folks that I've connected with within my LinkedIn network, and I have about 500 or so connections. I'm very fortunate that I've met a lot of these folks in person. And what I tend to do, this is uh, my Flickr account, what I tend to do when I'm at an event is I take photos, uh, a lot, lots and lots of photos. It's pretty much become a habit of mine. I take as many photos as I possibly can. And as in this example here, this is an event. It's the Southern California Homestagers Meetup organized by uh, Michelle Minch and uh, several other stagers and I gave a presentation here, a one hour social media presentation. I took as many photos as I possibly could. I uploaded these photos onto Flickr and so what I'll do uh, as I follow up with a lot of the stagers that I met at this event is I'll go to the top right hand side and I'll click on slideshow. That's going to bring up a, a, this page here where it's pretty much a running slideshow of the event. What I do is I copy and paste the URL to this particular page and then I say something like, hi, the person's first name. It was great meeting you at the event last week. Here are some photos. I hope you'll enjoy them. And then I drop the link to that slideshow that I've created. In the meantime, here's to getting connected on LinkedIn. Again, great to meet you. Talk to you soon. Best, Ricardo Bueno, social media consultant, the real estate tomato. And voila, that is my new invitation and this is what goes out in lieu of the canned invitation that you see before. So now if I want to connect with Michelle Minch, for example, and we met at that event. Hi, Michelle. It was great meeting you at the event last week. Here are some photos. I hope you'll enjoy them. A link to the Flickr slideshow. In the meantime, here's to getting connected on LinkedIn. And, a great, and again, great to meet you. Talk to you soon. What this does is it adds that little personal touch. And that personal touch just goes a very, very long way and establishing a relationship, and establishing a connection, and it makes it that much easier for you to follow up with folks. So I hope you find that helpful. That's my process. i um, like to know what your process is like, and if you have any other thoughts, leave a comment below. Thanks again. Ricardo Bueno, Rebizzi.com.